Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to set up groups. Now that we have all of our email enabled, uh, you may set up groups to contact your students. These are the same groups you can use to share calendars or share documents with, all within Google Apps. So if you'll set your groups up this way, then it will enable you to use that same group uh, label for multiple purposes. So if you start in any Google document or, or any Google app, you're going to have your black Google bar at the top and go to groups. There is the best place to set up your groups so that you can uh, use it for multiple purposes. So from here you can start by creating a group. You give your group a name, so I'm going to say sample group. I'll go back and delete this. Um, then you can give it a description if you'd like. Uh, and then you just say create. I would recommend if you're using it for a class that you start with your name and then first period or make it simple so that as we have lots of groups we uh, we know how to start. If everybody starts it with first period then it's going to make it more difficult. Okay so then you're going to go over here to members over here in the top right hand corner say members and then uh, manage. Now from here I would go to direct add members then you can begin by typing in email addresses and commas so that you can uh, put all your students in here. So like, let's just say for example I'm going to put Miss Black and Mr. Thompson and Mr. Dietz and an, uh, Mr. Hardy in a group. So there's my group and I'm just going to leave all the settings as is and say add. I didn't write a message I just put them all in the group. Now they probably just got an email that says I added them to a group uh, and I'll go back and delete that shortly. But now from email I can begin to compose an email and I can send it to my sample group and you'll notice it automatically populates with that address. I can do the same thing when I'm in a document and I want to uh, share this document with those in my group. I can just go to my share button. Let's see if it'll load. Share. And I can add in under people, sample group, and it will begin to load. There you go, and I can share it with them. Um, so that's how you can set up a group for your students. It's pretty simple. If you need any help, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.